Look into my f***ing eyes, Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. Darius Truxton, you are just such a coward. That's what you are. You are a coward. You live stream two days in a row playing your stupid little friggin' game. I don't even know what the hell it is. And you avoided the topic of you sending your unsolicited D pics to Candace. Not once did you talk about it, huh? You're a friggin' coward that runs away from the truth. You're some punk that sits there at 2772. You thought you were a tough guy for two to three to four to five years on the internet. You had some garbage following, a bunch of incels following you. Like friggin' Albert Menencuck, some five foot two shrimp that has nothing else going on in his life. So he thought, huh, let me hitch his wagon to friggin' Queefy Boy, who ha who gets off on sending sending pictures of his friggin' shrinky dink male genitalia to friggin' women unsolicited. That's who you guys follow. That's who you guys look up to. That's who you guys thought could, could take the torch and freaking go around the retro gaming community and freaking cause havoc. Well, guess what, Queefy boy? Everyone now in the retro gaming community knows how much of a creep you are. You can't even show up to freaking video game conventions anymore without somebody pointing at you. Be like, wait a minute. He's chinless from this angle. Hey, buddy, what's what's it look like from your angle? Well, he's double chin from this angle. It's Queefy Boy. It's Queefy Boy with his... Just sit there at 7-Eleven, serve your Slurpees, or and wrap, pack your f***ing bags, okay? You, you really have no intelligence. Double XL shirt that says he's property of the Game Chasers, right, Queef? Because you're a friggin' cock. And you're wearing your stupid flood shorts because you live near the docks of Hamilton, the same place you went to with your pink tricycle after friggin' level one online got you fired from Frank Lampire. How did that one feel, Queef? You took a big L there, didn't you? You have been taking L after L after L after L after L nonstop. <clears throat> the Endless Legends, Alpha Nerd, me, level one online, alt account one. Candace, Candace is now in the legendary status because we have exposed how much of a loser Darius Truxton really is. And you're going to sit there and pretend like nothing happened. You're going to sit there and pretend like this. Uh, okay, first of all, you make up this stupid story. I'm going to reiterate for everyone. Get your listening ears open. Hello. Hello. Okay, friggin' Slotham's News Network, here we go. Not Albo's five foot two shrimp, homeless bum, living in a cardboard box one day, living in a blue sleeping bag slash blue tarp slash blue tent, depending on the configuration of hobo sticks and shoelace strings another day. Okay, we're not talking about friggin' Nosferatu beating up a friggin' raccoon at the back of Jollibee's dumpster to fight over that last piece of blueberry muffin. We're not talking about friggin' Albert Menencuck bending over- Let's go ahead. ...in his blue tent in the Florida Everglades while Cyan Raider Cell, some genetic freak with a chin-like Buzz Lightyear, bends him over and friggin' wears a premium vest. We're not talking about that news network. We're we're talking about the Slotham News Network. Queefy Boy, the lie that he made up, basically he knows the pictures are true. These D pics are true, they're real, okay? All right, for everyone doubting, nope, they're real. Candace is real. She came out on her own freaking time and story to tell this story. She's real. She has nothing to gain from this, first of all. She just wants to tell people the truth. Candace is real and the D-Picks is real. The stories are real. Alpha Nerd said a long time ago that Queefy Boy was supposed to be working at Boston Pizza washing dishes like a good teenager on minimum wage, but instead of doing that, he was staring at the server's black leggings in the dining room and because of that got fired and now when Candace came out with her story said the exact same thing that queefy boy got fired from boston pizza because he was looking at the server's black leggings instead of doing his freaking job cleaning turds out of the goddamn toilet so that lined up right all that's true so then queefy boy in his mind thought to himself huh the pics are true. Candace is true. How can I make up some weird story where it makes lo makes it look like Hello. Hi, Robert. I am not happy with you. You hung up on me, and I'm checking in on my good friend, Keith. I don't give a shit, okay? Talk to him, not me. I want to know if he's okay. Darius <laughs> is the victim. Okay, I'm going to make up some character named Holly, 
who I used to send D pics to in the past, right? That's the story. I sent D Holly D pics because she was what into me. And ever since Darius and Holly, this imaginary character, had a falling out, now Holly has these D pics and is friggin' trying to troll Candace by sending her the D pics and making up some plan to make Darius look like the bad guy. Shut up. That is the most pathetic story. And that's all Darius has had is that friggin' imaginary character named Holly. Why would you believe him? Darius lies constantly. That's all he does is lie, 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 just like Ricardo Cody, who left his daughter in Brazil when she was five years old because he got probably kicked out and shunned. And then after he came to friggin' America, Ricardo Cody, his friggin' best friend in Brazil got with his friggin' ex-wife. How did that one feel, Ricardo? You're a sack of crap. You and Darius both lie. <laughs> Darius said that I don't bother him, right? Slotham doesn't bother me. He, uh, he, some, uh, hairy wife beater wearing mask wearing freak doesn't bother me. Well, yeah, then why did you cry to Team YouTube on Twitter, Darius, and friggin' take a screenshot of my video page trying to take it down? Because it does bother you. I live rent free in your head. I have ruined your life, and I hope I ruin it more because you're a sack of crap. Everyone needs to know about this. Coach Booge, you need to know about the fact that Queefy Boy sent his unsolicited d pics to a woman unwarranted is this what you taught this guy okay this is not how you freaking court a woman and get a woman to freaking like you and then have intercourse this is not what you're supposed to do darius truxton constantly lies oh slotham doesn't bother me yeah bans the word slotham on his live chat that's ridiculous slotham doesn't bother me bribes his freaking viewers to freaking take down my channel and give me a hundred and then we'll give him a hundred dollars which you don't have queefy boy then who tried to do that chief debo chief debbie some cock that freaking pretended uh to uh, that freaking uh protected queefy boy for so long how do you feel about that chief debo huh Send you're the only one that doesn't seem to want to move on. You want to fucking hold on to a grudge like Keith does for five from five years ago. D picks like that, like a creep. That's what you defended for so long, and you said on a live chat, Chief Debo. Oh yeah, I flagged Slotham's channel. It's getting out of control. Out of control? Really? You, you got your freak. You got butt hurt over my freaking rants every single day. You're a coward too, prick. I don't care if you turned on Queefy Boy. You sat there and defended that loser. And then you had some friggin' intercourse with Cyan Razor Cell. You got friggin' genetic freak Cyan Razor Cell. Chief Debo was my friend. Chief Debo was making some stupid short. Who knows what the hell they did. What friggin' sexual fantasy they acted out. It's just non-stop from Darius Truck said, hey, guess who hasn't said anything? I saw Dave C in the friggin' live chat yesterday. I guess he wanted to take two days off to let everything settle so that he could go ahead and continue cucking and pretend like none of this happened. But guess what? Who else hasn't showed up to Darius Truxton's live stream? Prince of Fallen, aka Prince of Diapers, the idiot in his mid-20s who thinks it's okay to wear a onesie and a friggin' adult crinkles tiger diaper and then sit there playing friggin' stupid games, live streaming to zero viewers, launching rocket deuces in it, and then after that rubs against the goddamn mattress at a thought of a dragon and jizzes himself. That's Prince of Diapers there, all right? That piece of trash has not showed up in a Queefy Boy stream. Hey, Prince- Darius Truxton Keith is a sexual predator. He preys on women. He preys on the reaction. I guess he feels powerful in doing this to women. I don't know. It's a fallen. Why not, huh? You think uh, this is the adult table, right? AKA the diaper changing table. Why haven't you shown up to Darius Truxton's stream and said, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, you're making it look like that. I'm the bad guy and Darius is the good guy. No, no, no. It's the other way around, Prince of Fallen. Stop acting like a little coward cuck that you are and head on over to the live stream and give him some support. Cause you know deep down inside that I'm the correct one and he's the wrong one. All of you guys in the Truxton army, all of you guys in the friggin' Dean's Queens, this pathetic sack of crap, all you pieces of trash in the Dean's Queen, you too, Dean TV. Huh? Wait the way your rights to your eight year old son, you're a coward. You procreate with the most ugliest woman known to mankind. You're a friggin' jobber. You're, you're wrestling like friggin' L Dandy at these stupid bingo halls, idiot. All you pieces of trash supported Darius Truxton at one point. And then when you realize that Slotham's Inferno is too hard to control, then you back down. Then you friggin' backed off. And now all of a sudden you're copying me. You're friggin' using my style. Oh, I'm gonna go against Darius. I'm gonna do this. Shut up. You're all a bunch of cowards. And Albert Menenka continues sleeping in your blue tent because you're a prick too, piece of trash.
Get on, get on, get on the ranch, you stupid, you stupid pussy. Yeah. Get your ass up here, you stupid piece of shit. Yeah. Get an incel.